here we are at the house on Alpine Way. Going to take a look at the house. This garage over here. This is the views looking to the south. These are the views looking over towards the west. That's the street right down there. This is looking up towards the north. You see how the slope is pretty good, but they've got the lawn terraced, so it's very usable, well landscaped. And then this is the view towards the east. We'll walk in and take you on a quick tour. Got nice stamped concrete patio, stamped and stained. Sidewalks are nice. Colored concrete as well. Got this nice little water feature back here in the back. We'll look at that a little closer. smoky today but these are the west hills that you can see out there along the horizon and this is the uh, garage over here the detached garage we'll walk in take a look It's a great room, grand room area. This looks like a engineered walnut floor. Got a little propane fireplace over here in the corner. Your dining room over here, kitchen. Got your half bath. And over here behind this door is one of the bedrooms. High vaulted ceilings. We'll come in here and check this out again in a minute. But yeah. coming right in off the front door is a little closet for coats and things. Got these stairs going down. It's got the nice little log cabin feel with the log banister. We got a little powder room. Right off the living room. And another little storage closet right here. We'll go downstairs in a minute. We got some nice stained glass up on these upper windows. And then the views are really good. It kind of brings in the outside world into this living space. We've got a couple of entrances here as well. There's a door here, and then there's also a door over in the dining room that goes out onto the porch. There's our views looking out over the valley. over into the dining room area now. It's a nice big table. Over here we got the French door that goes out on the porch. Got a beadboard side panels on these cabinets. What looks like to be like a spray stained maple and then a painted island. The island has got like this little stone rough cut edge. 
and it's kind of a leathery leather texture on the top. It's not polished like this other side because this is a polished side. The nice high gloss, high polish side here. Here's your views looking out of the kitchen. Looks like a driveway right there and looking over to the neighbor's house. And over here is another view looking out of the kitchen. It looks onto the back porch. And this is a full wraparound porch, goes all the way around the house. You can see a little bit of that water feature that's in the backyard there. Got nice pantry storages over here. The island can sit one on each end, plus the three that they've got sitting there. Nice vaulted ceilings throughout. Looks like a pine ceiling. Then we've got ourselves a little office nook and laundry space here. And this goes back on the back patio. We'll come back here in just a second. And then we'll go back over and look again in the master bedroom and then downstairs. This is the master. This is a king size bed. You can kind of see the space on either side of the bed here. They've got you know little lamp tables on either side. They got windows out the east side, windows out the west, or excuse me, south side here. And there. And that's your door going out into the living room. We'll check out these closets. some divided spaces in here. And over here in the master bathroom is a double double vanity. A little dresser in there. Get a walk-in shower stall. And a toilet behind the door. stairs. So you got a nice little daylight basement with a walkout right there on the front patio. Nice little TV and sitting area. The wet bar here, this is a, looks like fur that has like a little resin finish on top of it. They've got these little metal details right there in the joints. There, there's some little cabinets. And then that goes out to the garage right there. And then this goes back to a couple of bedrooms. Let's go and check these out. So you got two bedrooms here and a bathroom. And this room has got looks like we got forced air furnace here. This is a window that goes out 
into the back underneath the porch. We got this closet right here. These are pine doors down here. Just a rod and shelf in there. And this is the second bedroom downstairs. We'll check out this door. Looks like this is where the furnace is. And it does not look like it's got the air conditioning hooked up yet, but it does have what looks like to be an A coil inside the air handler. And this is an electric furnace. Just a little bit of storage in here. Another rod and shelf in the closet. And then we got our bathroom down here. Look, here's Harry Potter's room. Little space under the stairs. It's nice extra storage. In this full bath, you get the vanity sink, toilet, shower, all together here. And this has got a little uh, jetted tub. If you need to have a tub to soak in and have some massage done. Check out the garage. So as you walk in here, there's a couple of steps down into the garage. We got two bays plus a man door out here. And it's a short little garage. You can put a Jeep or a car, maybe some side-by-sides in here. This does have a radon mitigation system that's operating in the home, so that's a good thing. A little window looks under the porch there. We got this door that takes us out to the driveway. Are these two garage doors? We'll come out and take a look at this again in a second. got your load center, your power, you got your electric water heater, and your TV and satellite right there. Okay. I'm going to go upstairs and we're going to go out the laundry room right out to the back porch. Outside, we got the hot tub sunken down in. This covered back porch, nice little fire pit right over here. These are the wood fires. And these guys have this set up with a propane fireplace here as well. Water feature, a little fish pond, 
Got some koi out here, probably with last of the winter, but yeah, got some fish out here. And then this is the east side of the house. The yard is fenced back here with a no climb fence, so it's great for dogs and kids. Another little dining area here. Lots of inside and outside entertainment in this house. Now here's the driveway that comes up to the garage that's underneath the house here. This is where the kitchen is. This is where the laundry room is right here. And then the master is over on that far corner. This is the north side of the house. Again, the, the, the chinking and the stain on this is in really good condition. Um, one of the things I do like to see when we're doing log houses is these metal caps to kind of help protect the tops of these logs. But because it's wood and log, you will see these splits and cracks throughout. That's normal. We got a little coffee area here. Front deck. This goes into the uh, dining room right here. And these are the views of the front yard. Nice little boardwalk off of the driveway that comes up here, goes underneath the porch and can either take you to the garage on that far side over there or underneath to the basement entrance here. And this is where the living room is and those stained glass pieces are up here. This is the uh, exhaust for the fireplace, the propane fireplace inside. Here we've got the terrace porch or the terrace lawn. And the views off of the porch. And then this is the setup for the for the main entry. Lots of little carvings and statuary here. This is got a little entrance. I'm gonna go walk out there. We're gonna check out that area above the garage. This is just a nice little storage area up here inside the garage space. But yard tools or decorations, anything like that up in here. Does that uh, waterfall have a switch back there? Or do you just leave it running? Uh, it's Nice. Here's the garage. Nice tall doors. Lots of space in here. Got a nice load center with looks like 200 amps and a lot of space for 220 or any kind of electrical. Big garage, I like it. There's a 220 outlet right here between these two doors. It looks like a 30 amp plug that's in there right now. And you could easily do all kinds of work in here. This is a very nice space.